In this lecture, we will discuss about step 9.4 that is how to validate password setting for Windows login. First, let us determine what is the requirement of information security policy. So this is our information security policy. We need to find password. Let us search for password. Okay. So close 18 and 19. So close 18 is about password complexity. Now we have two parts to this. One is for application and database. And second one is for Windows login. Let us now concentrate on Windows login. So different parameters are available. Minimum password edge 0 days. Maximum password edge 90 days. Minimum password length 8 character and so on. Now these are the requirement of information security policy. We need to cross verify that, a say, that is same requirements are actually implemented in the system. Now how to do this? This is very simple. Open the command prompt and write the command net accounts. Let me show you. NET accounts. So this is what we are getting is what is being actually defined in this system. Okay, so now we need to cross verify this with the information security policy. Now if you see minimum password edge here required is 0 days and implemented is minimum password edge is 0 days. Okay, so here minimum password edge let us make this as complete. Next parameter is maximum password edge. So maximum password edge requirement of information security policy is 90 days and actually implemented is also 90 days. Okay, so let us make this also as complete. Minimum password length. Let us check what is the requirement of information security policy. 8 characters. Okay, so this is also being complied. 8 characters defined. Okay, password history. Password history means till what time that particular password should not be repeated. So, length of password history maintained should be 5. So, this requires user should not use the last five password okay now let us check what is being implemented length of password history maintained is none so this here they have implemented as zero so this is area of non-compliance similarly we can validate for Lockout threshold, lockout duration, and lockout observation window 33030. So, lockout threshold never, lockout duration 30, lockout observation window 30. So, lockout threshold, if you see, it has been defined as 3, it has been implemented as never. Here, this is being complied 3030. Quickly understand how to report this. We will quickly draft one audit observation on the basis of this particular observation. Let us open our information security audit report, information system audit report. So this is our new observation. As per information security policy. This is the requirement. Length of last 5 password history should be maintained. However, we noted then in actual no password history is maintained for following device. Okay, and this is basically evidence. This is the risk 
in absence of password history user may be updating same password again and again and thus making mandatory password change procedure irrelevant risk as i told you is subjective and this is your area of recommendation password history should be implemented as per requirement of information security policy with this we have completed step 9.4 in our next lecture, we will discuss about step 9.5 that is about administration right. Thanks for watching.